Hi everyone, welcome back to Cook Vegan. My goodness, I went from not doing any interviews to suddenly having um, two amazing live cooking demos from our fantastic team here in Limassol, Cyprus at St. Raphael Resort. If you do not know um, what I actually do for a living, that is to run this fantastic resort, a five-star hotel um, and marina. And most importantly, work with fantastic people uh, like Thea, who was on yesterday, so do check that out as well. And of course, Andreas here, our amazing chef, who is in charge of our Seashells Healthy Living Vegan Restaurant. It is the first vegan hotel restaurant in Cyprus. <laughs> in Cyprus, yeah, and it's also the first um, a vegan restaurant on a beach in Cyprus, so super exciting. And um, we uh, launched that two years ago. This is going to be our third season. And um, Andres has got really into the cuisine. He's um, also transitioning, I like to say, to um, being fully vegan himself, or at least I'm uh, trying to hypnotize him into that. <laughs> and um, it's a little bit about Andres before I embarrass him more. I can see him turning red. He has been with us shockingly 13 years. Now, for those of you who know, um, St. Raphael and our team, we are blessed to have so many people who have been with us, my goodness, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, some 33 years. Um, but I just thought, as you guys can see from our gorgeous looking Andreas here, that he was still, you know, in his mid 20s, but he's, he's got a little bit older than that. So um, <laughs> just a little bit. So, uh, and um, uh, Andreas is our rising star. He has been um, in a cooking competition in Greece recently. He's also, for those of you who know, um, Rick NSCY BC1 here in Cyprus, our national television station. He has been cooking a lot on that last year and also this year. They just filmed, was it eight or nine, Andrea Moore, episodes? Uh, <laughs> They had a mammoth day, a mammoth day filming. Anyway, they were exhausted. And um, actually, we, sh we shouldn't even be doing a live now because our chef is on live as we speak um, uh, on okay, now, but and Andreas will be on it tomorrow. So do check that out, quarter to four Cyprus time. And so without me rambling more and more and more, because you can tell how proud I am, my lovely team here. Um, we also sent Andreas as one of our chosen few um, all the way to Thailand exactly a year ago. I can't believe that year. No, sorry, exactly two years ago. Wow, exactly where did that time go? Exactly two years ago. It was January, end of January, two years ago. I was there as well, um, but unfortunately not, not doing the cooking um, part. So we are opening um, Cyprus's first um, upmarket luxury, authentic Thai restaurant. We do, of course, have Thai restaurants in Cyprus, but they're takeaway and maybe a bit more casual. And there aren't any in a five-star hotel. So we are launching that. It's called the Golden Monkey. And that's going to be opening, I hope, soon in spring. COVID allowing and everything else. Um, and Andreas went to Thailand to do a cooking course in Bangkok. So came back with hundreds of recipes. It was an intense one-month course where they were literally doing, I think, was it 10 dishes a day or something crazy? Uh, nine to ten. Nine to ten, imagine. Um, so I, I was there um, for a few days as well. We overlapped her a bit, but I was choosing the furniture and um, decoration. So a little bit different, um, but we were all being creative. So Andres now has um, taken all that knowledge, everything he's learned and um, developed it even further. And he's going to show us how to make two dishes today. So I'm passing you over and out to Andres. So hello, everyone. Today, today we are going to introduce a Thai coconut soup. Tom Kak, like everyone knows it, but it's gonna be in a vegetarian, vegan version. And the red curry paste with pumpkin and broccoli. So today we're gonna start, I'm gonna introduce you generally how we're gonna make it. And it's very simple, the method and, every, and so easily. So one cup vegetable stock, one cup coconut milk, lemongrass, that is thinly slices, Kaffir limes, galang and ginger. Usually we buy this, uh, this one fresh in Thailand, but in here in Cyprus, we bought it dry. I, you should put it in the hot water to get a little bit softer. Carrot, one carrot thinly sliced. 
Um, Graham Moore, I'm interrupting. How long does it have to be rehydrated or get a bit softer? Does it need about 10 minutes or does it need more? Approximately 10 minutes, 10 to 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Uh, two mushrooms, thinly sliced. One red chili sliced. This one is a one quarter salt, half teaspoon of sugar, and one lime juice in the end. So our method is very simple and easy. So we are gonna start it with medium heat. The vegetable stock. Vegetable stock with the coconut milk. After it goes, kaffir and lemongrass. And in then, the galangar. So we are gonna let this one to get a little bit warm. And until it's gonna get warm, I'm gonna introduce you generally the ingredients for the red curry. Amazing. So and we don't have to cut the, um, how do I say it? Is it a gala? What is it? Galangal ginger. If it, Galangal if it, ginger. Galangal you ginger. Cut it into smaller pieces. You prefer it to be in bigger pieces? Uh, actually, you can put it like this and, and then you can take them off. Okay. Okay, so we, here we are. We are going to introduce you the ingredients for the, for the curry pumpkin broccoli. So we start with the vegetable oil. One tablespoon red curry paste. It goes first coconut cream, half cup. One cup coconut milk. One cup vegetable stock. Uh, two kaffir limes, leaves, cut it into pieces. Mm -hmm. Half teaspoon palm sugar. Half chili, thinly sliced. Six basil leaves. One cup broccoli, cut into the small pieces. And pumpkin into cubes. That is cooked, actually, this one. We add this one in there. Cooked, cooked pumpkin, yeah. Yeah. The, for the ingredients for, of the red curry paste, for this one, how to make it, is very simple and easy. I'm going to tell you now the ingredients. Uh, we're using dry, two tablespoons dry red chilies, one stalk lemongrass finely sliced, one slice galang and ginger finely sliced, one quarter glove of shallot finely chopped, one glove of garlic sliced, one slice kaffir lime chopped, one root coriander chopped, one teaspoon roasted coriander seeds. This one we started from the beginning. One teaspoon roasted cumin seed, peppercorn and salt. All of those ingredients, we can put them in the mortar and we smash them or in the blender and we create this ingredient. Amazing. Oh, guys, yeah. if you're lazy like me, you can buy it from a supermarket ready. Yeah, you can buy it from the supermarket ready one, but I'm talking generally for those one who want to I'm make... teasing, I'm teasing. And of course, when everyone, when you come and check out the Golden Monkey Thai restaurant, everything is going to be homemade and made by our team and our chefs. And um, we're making everything from scratch and we're even going to grow some yeah. of our own herbs. So we can see here that it's already started to get in boil. We are adding the carrots. Mm -hmm. Rooms. Chilies. Sugar. And salt. We steam a little bit and we are gonna let this one in the side to get it a little bit get similar. So we are going to start now with the red curry. This one we are going to put it in the middle, medium heat for approximately five to seven minutes and it's going to be ready one. Mm -hmm. And in then just a little bit lime juice. Now we're going to start 
create so amazing curry. so so that so that curry at the back is done oh sorry the yeah. soup this the one soup. is yet in five to seven minutes it's gonna be done yeah very simple and easy one Oh my goodness, I love, love, love super easy and simple recipes like this. It's, perfect. And it's actually very, very fast. So we're going to start now with the cooking oil. Cooking oil. And we start with the red curry paste. That's interesting, Andrea. Why do you start with the red curry paste and not put it in later? The reason why we, we need to do all the oils of the red curry to get and all the flavors and the aroma to start getting opening. Mm -hmm. One simple and easy recipe, you can start it putting all the liquid ones from the beginning to get warm and after the red curry, simple one. And after the pumpkin and broccoli, but after you can see the oil is getting, getting on top and we don't want this one. So we're starting with the coconut. And after we start with the coconut cream. But we need this one to start getting cooking. We start with the high heat, the, the paste. It looks so good. So that needs um, about three minutes, three to four minutes. Approximately, if you're going to make it in everything around seven minutes is going to be done as well this one. But you have to be very careful with the pumpkin because the pumpkin is already cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to put it raw, the pumpkin is going to take approximately 15 portion ways. So All it's right. going to so get divided into two. Yes, yeah, dividing. One. So it's going to get all this one together. Great, so that the flavors can all be intertwined and be heated up slowly together. Yeah. Perfect. And is this the coconut oil that you're using? Is it one from a tin or is the it? The coconut cream. Yeah, the, the coconut, coconut cream. cream. Yeah, we can use it from the coconut cream or we can buy a ready one, the coconut cream. Okay, so for anyone watching. Because some yeah, of you guys are watching this on uh, Facebook live and others will be watching it on YouTube channel. So you can pause it any time and then come back to cook it um, real time along with Andreas. So we are adding as well the second portion of the coconut cream. Okay, so perfect. So you just add it in two halves or just slowly, slowly so that slowly, it- Slowly, slowly. Yeah. yeah, I just make it in two ways. So everything's gonna get one. Mm, I can almost smell it. It's almost coming, coming through the screen at me. <laughs> so now we are gonna add the coconut milk. All in one. And again, Andre, the coconut milk is just the one from the carton, yes? Or, do, yeah, or are you course, using a thicker one? Are you using a thicker one from a can or from from a carton? From the carton. Great. Okay. Perfect. And needless to say, for those of you watching, it's the unsweetened one if you can get. This one is a uh, vegetable stock. Vegetable stock, mm -hmm. and it goes kaffir leaves inside, chilies, basil leaves, and the last one is going to be palm sugar. Wow, you're inspiring me. I was gonna, we were gonna make curry tonight and we usually make a coconut based one as well, but not with um, red curry sauce. So now I'm getting ideas for dinner time. 
we can do this one as well with the yellow curry one. We can make as well with the green one. Mm -hmm. Very easy one. Yeah, so the, the main part of the ingredients is the same, it's paste. but it's, yeah, the paste that makes the difference. Yes. Yeah, and the nice thing about curries as well is, you know, whatever vegetables you have at home, you can also put those into your curry. So, of course, of course. Yeah, you're using different vegetables now, broccoli. But if someone's got leftover, I don't know, zucchinis and carrots and some corn, some, they can make a curry favorite. with that. We're adding the broccoli now. And the pumpkin. And we are gonna let this one to simmer approximately around four to five minutes, and it's gonna be done. Amazing. As you can see here, this one is almost ready one. And the, and the red curry one as well, so. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. We've literally been online for like five minutes. I know if someone's five making minutes it at home. And having almost two dishes, yeah. <laughs> exactly, you've got two dishes. Okay, obviously you might need, you know, I'm 10 minutes to get everything washed and cut up and all ready. But within a few minutes, you've got an incredibly tasty meal that's also really healthy. Of course. Yeah, because a lot of people, I think they don't realize, but spices, all types of spices and herbs, are so they're full of antioxidants. They're so healthy for you. And we should all be trying to have as many, as much as we can in, in our daily, daily routine and cuisine. So it's you a really great way. way. From the Sorry, spicy. you can lose weight as well from the spicy when yeah I've been to, yeah when i've been in thailand before two years i almost lose four to six kilos wow <laughs> yeah they're yeah, having a really lot of spices but it was a really good one i can say or, or, may, or maybe you guys were just cooking so much you didn't have time to eat yeah of course <laughs> 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 so this one, the soup is getting ready, and we're gonna start to serving you now. And this one, the red curry, you can see, two minutes is gonna be done. Stunning. Wow, it looks perfect. Don't forget the lime in the end. Okay, so you squeeze on about a quarter of a lime or half a lime? Approximately half of the lime, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna serve it. Oh, it looks perfect. Galangal, we don't need it. So basically you use the ginger to infuse the flavor in, but because it's quite crunchy and it's a bit like bark, you just take it out at the end. Yeah, of course. Like we would with the bay leaves or something else. So in then I'm gonna garnish it. With coriander leaves. And shred the chili. So first our dish is ready. It's just beautiful. It's amazing. And I'm always, I always say this, you know me, I'm always in awe of you, all of you, your pro professionalism and your decoration. And I love cooking and making the recipes, but my goodness, it's my presentation skills. <laughs> Very far <laughs> from the five-star hotel that we are. And the red curry one is the red one here. 
Uh, usually we serve it with any kind of fried rice. Uh, mm -hmm. I just prepare any uh, simple white rice. I'll add it on the side. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful and the colors. I mean, this is an example of food for the eyes where you, we can see a dish and just get so excited about it. And it's our brain telling us that it's good nutrients in there. Final touch, coriander leaves and chili as well. So for the our dishes, approximately how much it took for us? 15 minutes, done. Done and perfect. It's just so beautiful. Andrea Moore, I love it. Guys, uh, jokes aside, I literally have not discussed with my team at all what they were gonna make on Cook Vegan. Um, you know, they know what we, we normally do. And I've just said, you know, guys do a live cooking of anything you want. And here we have it. Just beautiful. I mean, two amazing dishes, authentic Thai cuisine that you can make at home so easily. And it's affordable. Um, it's delicious. It's nutritious. And it's easy. That sums up Cook Vegan's aims there. So um, thank you all so much for watching. Andrea, well, thank you so much for showing everyone on Cook Vegan, um, how to make these yummy, yummy dishes, and me, me included. Um, guys, we will be having all of these things and more. Seashells will be opening in spring, um, as soon as obviously weather permitting and the situation with this global pandemic. And you can meet Andreas for yourself. If you're watching this from Cyprus, do you come to St. Rafa Resort, meet Andreas. He'll be happy to talk about lots and lots of vegan cooking, his ideas, what he does and all his tips. And you can try out, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how good the food is at Seashells. And of course, our Thai restaurant, Golden Monkey, is opening as well in spring. Um, we will have chefs and a team from Thailand, but um, our very good team at San Rafa will obviously be supporting that. And um, yeah, we've got lots of exciting news there. So if you're watching this on Facebook Live, thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget, put that subscribe button down below support us show us some love here show andrea some love comment for him below tell him what a great chef he is and how how much good he's doing we really really appreciate it and push the bell button as well because then you're going to get um you won't miss any videos because he's going to definitely be back on this uh, as well as there as well as elias and so many others of our team showing you how to make easy nutritious and delicious cook vegan food Thank you, everyone. Stay tuned. Thanks, Andrea. More. See you Thanks soon. So much. Stay safe. Bye.